Fun facts, in today's day and age, you need electricity. You need your lights up. You need electricity to watch something on the TV. You need electricity to call someone. You need electricity. Electro, that's the same. Uh, electro. Welcome. The Gamer Man's Lounge. Awaken to play. Hopefully things are going well for you guys. As for me, welcome to the Waifus of Gaming. There is an instance with us and female video game characters. That instance is that we get romantically attached to them, which as a result we have a crush on them. This instance is part of a phenomenon that spreaded from anime. It is called waifuism, and the term for a romantically attached female character is called a waifu. We all have our video game waifus, and this series celebrates it. Welcome to the Waifus of Gaming. Today in the Waifus of Gaming, we go ahead, yes, Waifus of Gaming is a segment dedicated to female video game characters we have a crush on. Alright, oh, that character is your waifu, let's find out why. Oh, this character is my waifu, let's talk about why. That's how it works, welcome to the Waifus of Gaming. And today in Waifus of Gaming, we're going to be talking about someone famous in Inazuma. That's right. Well, two people famous in Inazuma. We'll, we'll talk about her. All right. But anyway, Genshin Impact Waifus. That is what it is. Uh, of course, let's get right on going to everybody's favorite five-star Electro, Raiden Shogun. Let's go ahead and dip our toes in the world of Teyvat, heading on over to Inazuma. So, today what we're going to be taking a look at here is everybody's beloved Electro Archon, Raiden Shogun. Here I thought Ganyu was pretty much going to be the hyped character since I've been seeing a whole lot of fan arts of her. But however, when Raiden Shogun made her debut, especially as a playable character, she ended up blowing up. Like, people were going crazy, and there's been reports that sales on her limited gacha banner were record-breaking at the time. Like, record-breaking compared to Ganyu. So, here at the Gamer Man's Lounge, today, we managed to get a hold of Raiden Shogun. So, let's go ahead and check her out. The Raiden Shogun is the Electro Archon who is watching over Inazuma. However, she ended up becoming burdened by loss of her loved ones and dear sister. And, however, because of this, she ended up being destined to seek eternity. However, she created puppets or other versions of her and allowed one of them to take over looking over Inazuma, while the real her resides in the plane of Euthymia, because, you know, seeking eternity. However, uh, that was not a good idea at all. But anyway, Raiden A, the true Raiden Shogun later in the story, takes over her body more often, after, especially after a situation where she had to deal with um, something. Like I said again, that was not a good idea at all. However, if we manage to get to know Raiden A, Raiden A is actually a calm and possibly currently airheaded, but also polite. At times, she does get curious, because, you know, reasons... I can't spell too much because spoilers. Anyway, Raiden Shogun, when Raiden Shogun takes over and not Raiden A, she ends up becoming serious and fearless and can be pretty much merciless. And uh, yeah, the very minute you set foot in Inazuma and dig deeper, you pretty much find out the hard way. Anyway, so both I and Shogun, or actually both A, yeah, Raiden A and Shogun are determined towards their goals, both A and Shogun can be pretty much stubborn, well, stubborn at times. But however, Raiden I can possess intellect that cannot be underestimated. I mean, come on, look at what she was capable of doing. Seriously. If you underestimate the ability of Raiden Shogun, then you will be surprised. You will be definitely surprised. Now, here's the thing. Raiden Shogun wields a polearm and a sword. She uses her pole arm for regular attacks, while in her ult, pulls a sword out of her chest, in which leading into an AoE attack that slashes enemies repeatedly, well, in a blink of an eye, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see the visual aid. However, for her elemental skill, 
she unleashes a slash attack that deals damage to multiple enemies. That attack summons an eye-like icon, meaning that anyone, not only her, but anyone in her party can deal an additional electro attack courtesy of her. But she has a unique meter that can amplify her damage when using her ult depending on how full it is. In terms of ability overall, she is useful as an electro support, sub DPS, and even DPS. Oh yes, alternatively, if you're too lazy to swap an over with a party with a Claymore user, you could pretty much use Raiden Shogun's either charged attack or a pretty much uh, polearm dive into ores that'll make things faster. It was something that I was busy experimenting around with when I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and, and play around with Raiden Shogun and yeah, make things faster when she decided to go dive bomb in the goddamn rocks, special ass rocks, and it is what it is. But the very minute, if you want to go ahead and call her Booba Sword, all right, go ahead and call her Booba Sword. But the very minute she pulls the sword out that fucking cleavage, motherfuckers are damn well gonna die. Oh, hey, now that we're segueing back to her ult or elemental burst, not only does she pull out a sword and does that AoE damage, but, however, it puts her in, like, a super-powered mode where, basically, charged attacks have her charging out and striking, like, lightning from left and right, and, of course, amplified attacks from left and right. So, yeah, if the multiple repeated uh, slashes in the blink eye ain't gonna do shit, then here's a few charged attacks and a few slashes just to fucking eat away your HP. When... It's time for you to die. It is time for you to die. If you won't die in the blink of an eye, it will happen. You will die eventually. Now, let's go ahead and head on over to the appeal of the Raiden Shogun. And, of course... Yeah, Raiden Shogun wears a highly detailed kimono outfit that resembles Inazuma. And, of course, to keep that kimono in place, she has a sash that helps... Like I said, keep it in place, but however, that sash is basically tied on with a big bow. Now, her upper back and chest is exposed, so yes, get ready for the cleavage. Otherwise, things would not be easier for her to pull the sword out of her chest. I mean, you can't be booba sword without managing to summon the booba sword. Now, Raiden Shogun is a fantastically pretty looking girl, and... Oh yeah, she looks great. Now, the chest area is pretty much capable of no shit Sherlock carrying the sword that she does uses. Otherwise, she can't be the booba sword. But however, if we're going to be talking about her thighs, it can be thick, but also lap pillow qualified. So, yeah. If you're freaking out over Raiden Shogun's thighs, if you find Raiden Shogun's thighs to be the selling point in terms of her appeal, understandable. But I will go ahead and say, Raiden Shogun is one hell of a pretty lady that will kick ass. And that's where we will go ahead and segue into our conclusion. Raiden Shogun is a hell of a beautiful badass with sheer determination, astounding abilities, and an underrated storyline. She is the best character who really deserves a better and happier ending. Those who looked for a 5-star Electro were definitely pleased, especially me included. Okay, I was wanting a 5-star Electro. I was like, okay, I need this 5-star Electro. I was like, okay, Yai Miko, I better skip her banner. I'll wait for a rerun so that way your stuff gets fixed. And then when I managed, finally got lucky to get right in Shogun in her rerun banner, I was like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That totally said, like I said again, right in Shogun is a hell of a beautiful badass. Make sure the editor, he didn't, okay, well, when it comes to her, pretty much her ult elemental burst, not only does you do see the AoE multi-slash in a blink of an eye, but also her attacks are amplified and her attacks are done from now on using the sword she pulled out of her chest. Alright, so chopping motherfuckers from left to right, charged attack, oh yeah, things happen in a blink of an eye. There, There's chaos, there's going to be dedicated amounts of chaos, but one thing you know, uh, Booba Sword gets hella chaotic, Booba Sword is fun to play, and of course, uh, Booba Sword does have great thighs. We can all come to an agreement. Wonderful thighs. 
And of course, uh, this just makes Raiden Shogun everybody's favorite. Okay, you know what? If you really... I'll get to what I'm about to say later, but after this, um, yeah, Raiden Shogun is everybody's favorite Archon. I know people go crazy over Jean Lee or Venti, but, um... Yeah, I know Sumeru is not out yet. I understand. Or, yeah, that's the thing. By the time I'm recording this, Sumeru ain't out yet. You never know. But, uh, yeah. Um, that's the thing. A, right in May from Honkai Impact. Okay, there's I. Wait a minute. Yeah, you take out the M, and her name is spelled E-I. But then there is right in May. Yeah, right in A. Come on. We know what Hoyoverse is doing. We all know what Hoyoverse is doing. Come on. Anyway, that is all, and I will be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out! This is nothing but a video product made by a fellow gamer man. Ayo!